Good afternoon everyone. So uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. So depende kung anong oras mo tong pinapanood tong uh, FB live or training video. So ang topic natin this afternoon yung karugtong ng review ng book na to na The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. Be your own financial educator. So this book kung hindi niyo nasimulan itong series na to Uh, balikan nyo na lang yung mga naunang series kasi nasa chapter 3 na. Nasa chapter 3 na kami. Yan. So, yung chapter 3 is Understanding the Purpose of Life Insurance. Yan. So, may na-miss na kayo na dalawang series. Yung introduction and chapter 1 tsaka yung chapter 2. So, hanapin nyo na lang sa page yun kung first time nyo na mapapanood itong video na to or itong series review na to. Ayan, so ngayon, ibibigyan ko lang kayo ng idea ano yung nakalagay sa chapter na to. So bakit kailangan natin maintindihan yung purpose ng ng insurance? So nakalagay dito yung ano, yung basic basic uh, understanding. So hindi ko i-discuss lahat, yung mga kailangan niyo lang ano, malaman at saka kung gusto niyo naman magkaroon ng copy na to as the person na nag-share sa iyo ng video na to or kung wala comment ka lang dyan sa baba para malaman mo kung paano ka magkakaroon ng copy ng libro na to. Okay? Yan. So, si start na tayo. So, sabi dito sa first, ano pa lang, first sentence pa lang. Sabi, insurance is for protection should anything happen to you. So, ang purpose ng insurance is to protect yung breadwinner, yung yung nag-work talaga. Pero mamaya makikita natin kung talagang yung yung nagpo-produce lang ng income yung dapat nating i-protect, 'di ba? So may mga question dito na masasagot 'yon. So dito sa Pilipinas nga daw, hindi daw talaga pinag-uusapan yung insurance as much as they talk about investment kasi madalas talaga yung tao kaya sila nag-attend ng mga financial literacy or seminar is gusto nilang matuto kung paano sila mag-invest. Pero parang least priority nila yung yung isa sa solution din is ano insurance so hindi nila pinag-uusapan yun so kasi nga hindi siya na, hindi siya masayang pag-usapan while insurance is not a fun topic it is a critical part of your financial strategy and um, part talaga siya lalong lalo na kung hindi ka pa nakaka-build ng investment mo uh, lalong lalo na kung wala malaki kang malaki yung responsibility mo sa ngayon tapos hindi ka pa nakakapag-save at nakakapag-invest, better talaga din na unahin mo siya before making an investment. Sinabi na nga yun ni, ano eh, ni, ni Boss Rex Mendoza na, na you, have, uh, you have no right to invest kung hindi mo pa, hindi ka pa properly protected. ba diba? Kasi sayang lang din yung investment mo kung may mangyayari sa'yo tapos hindi ka pala insured. Yun. So, many people daw don't understand what insurance Yes, and, and so only a few want to buy it. Kasi hindi nga nila naintindihan. So, dahil hindi nila naintindihan, so, kaunti lang yung talagang kumukuha nun. ba diba, ng insurance? So, even even those who buy insurance don't actually understand it. So, kahit na yung mga iba na meron ng insurance policy, minsan hindi nila naiintindihan yon, hindi nila na-appreciate yung, yung importance nito sa pag-build and pag preserve ng wealth. So, actually, ang insurance pinoprotect niya yung investment mo eh. ba diba? So, para hindi siya magalaw yung investment mo. So, as a result, many people don't have insurance. So, if they do, the coverage is usually not enough. So, kung meron mang iba, naka, nakaunti, few Filipinos ang merong insurance, pero baka hindi enough yung insurance coverage. So, dito, tinakal din sa chapter na to kung, da, kung how much yung uh, Hindi naman sinabi na ito talaga yung dapat sundin, pero yung parang estimated dapat na coverage mo. So, tutu, tinuro dito sa libro na to. Yan, so marami talagang different kinds of protection. So, they insure their house, their cars, phones, and appliances, pati mga travel insurance, di ba? May mga ganyan. Kaya lang, when it comes to life insurance, parang maraming tao ang nagiging skeptical. So, ang madalas ang ini-insure yung mga properties, pero yung tao na gumagamit ng mga properties na yun is hindi na insure Kasi, uh, skeptic yung, ano, yung Pilipino. Siguro dahil na rin sa mga nangyari uh, sa mga past few years na mga nangyari sa mga insurance company, doon yun. So, yun. Pero kung ano naman, kung aaralin mo din naman, so, titingnan mo naman yung, ano, yung importance niya. So, dun ka mag-iisip, ba diba? 
the most important insurance daw that can protect their family and their children is the one that is not taken seriously, which is life insurance. So actually, sabi dito, sabi sa libro na to, ang life insurance daw doesn't insure your life. It insures your it, it ensures your family's ability to continue on without being financially devastated. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, hindi actually ang ini-insure nito is yung life natin, kundi yung, yung family na may iwan. So, kung makakapag-continue ba sila kung ang breadwinner ay namatay, di ba, o nawala, di ba? So, makakapag-continue ba sila sa buhay nila na hindi nila iniisip yung financial problem yun. So, Uh, kaya nga, isa yun eh, kung mahal mo daw yung pamilya mo, so dapat i-insure mo yung sarili mo. Kasi lalong-lalo na kung ikaw yung breadwinner, what if may mangyari sa'yo? Anong mangyayari sa kanila na may iwan? So, kaya yung iba nagre-rely sa, ano, sa insurance ng company. Oh, may insurance naman ako sa company eh, so okay na yun. So, hindi yun enough kasi usually ang, ang, ang insurance sa company, 10,000 lang. Yun, sobrang liit lang. So, not enough to cover talaga yung families family's expenses, lalong-lalo na kung isa lang siya ang income producer. So, isa lang siya na nagtatrabaho. So, paano makakapagtuloy na makapag-aral yung anak or yung asawa na hindi naman talaga in the first place nagtrabaho, kung siya lang talaga yung nagtatrabaho, ba? Diba? So, yun. So, at isa pa, syempre, ang insurance sa company, hindi mo naman yan madadala. ba? Diba? Hindi mo yan ma hindi mo yan madadala kapag nag-resign ka. Yun. So, yun. Once they resign or retire from their respective companies, their insurance coverage also stops. So, hihinto din yun. Same as with healthcare, di ba? Hindi mo siya madadala kapag nag-retire ka. Di ba? <coughs> Ang tanong dito daw is, are you insurable? Isa sa question dito. Maraming question na nakalagay dito eh. So, uh, syempre, most of life insurance, nagre-require ng mga medical exam. So, mga blood test, mga health records, bago ka isuhan ng insurance policy. So, kung meron, kang, meron ka daw health problem, so, pwedeng yung life insurance company, pwede ka niyang i-deny, di ba, yung application mo. Or kung hindi ka man niya i-deny, pwede siyang mag-charge ng higher rate or higher premium rate. So, the truth is that there are people who are not insurable. May... Ang worst worst case pa diyan baka ikaw eh hindi ka na insurable kasi because of age, because of disease o kaya may mga habits ka, risky habits and other health and lifestyle matters. So, maraming sa mga tao talaga hindi to alam yung mga yung mga ganyan, yung mga nagiging cause kung bakit hindi nagiging uh, insurable yung isang tao. So, so it is highly encouraged daw talaga to buy life insurance as soon as you can, while you're still healthy and insurable. So, hanggat bata ka, hanggat talagang insurable ka pa, much better na simulan mo siya. Kasi mas madali mo siya rin marirenew kung, kung na-approve ka na, di ba, nung mas bata pa. So, yun. So, it, and it is cheaper to buy insurance daw when you are younger and healthier. So, syempre, given na ang cost of insurance is based on din sa, sa age yan. So, kung mas kung mas bata mo siya na ano, kung mas bata ka sa ngayon at syempre mas healthy ka pa, mas mura ang premium mo. 'Yun. So, some policies daw can be issued without a medical exam or with limited medical questions. So, these forms of guaranteed policies typically charge higher premium and are only available in lower amounts. So, yung mga iba na nag hindi daw nag issue ng, kasi ang usual talaga is nag-ihingi sila ng mga medical exam and mga requirement. Pero kap- sa iba na hindi daw nang so usually mataas yung higher ng, mat- mataas na higher, <laughs> mataas yung kanyang premium rate and at the same time, lower lang yung coverage niya. ba diba? Yung coverage, yung insurance coverage. yon so... So it's a question of ano eh kung gaano ka naka, gaano ka ka healthy sa ngayon eh. So ibig sabihin hindi lahat pwedeng kumuha ng life insurance depende pa yan sa sa ano sa hindi hindi daw siya ano eh may nabasa ako dito hindi daw siya right. Hindi mo siya karapatan but it's a privilege. So as long as uh, pwede pa as long as healthy ka pa bata ka pa so take mo yung privilege na yun na insure mo yung sarili mo. Yan. So ang tanong naman, so okay, naintindihan mo na yon. So, ang tanong, how much life insurance daw yung kailangan mong bilhin? So, depende actually, depende to sa parang worth mo. So, may mga iba't ibang 
hindi yung worth na worth mo sa family. Siguro depende sa worth na income na mawawala dun sa ano sa mawawala kapag ikaw ay nawala. Diba? So, more on computation siya ng possible income na kailangan palitan ng insurance. So, ang ang pinoprotect kasi natin dito yung income na nawala din eh, di ba? Pero may isa pang computation. So, uh, using dime method. So, ito yung, ito yung isa sa formula na pwedeng gamitin din pag compute ng life insurance. So, yung tinatawag natin ang dime method. So, ano ibig sabihin ng dime method? So, dime, yung D, yun stands for debt. So, syempre yung utang kung meron kang existing debt <coughs> hindi naman yan maisasama sa libingan, de ba? So, hindi naman yan maibabaon din sa, ano, sa hukay. So, kailangan niyang bayaran ng family na may iwan. So, kailangan din niyang i-consider sa pag-compute mo ng insurance coverage mo. So, kunwari, dito sa sample na to, uh, ang debt na may iwan ni, ni, ni Juan de la Cruz is 500,000. So, isa yun, kasama yun sa computation, 500,000. Tapos, For example, ang income niya is ano, is 20,000 every month. So ang computation for income yung sa I, 'di ba, dime. D una tapos yung I. That's uh, for income na mawawala. So ang computation noon is annual income times 10. So let's say nag-earn siya ng 20,000 per month. So 20,000 times 12 months so that is 240,000 times 10 years. So dapat i-cover daw yung i-cover daw niya yung sarili niya ng 2.4 million yun sa income. Okay? Tapos sunod naman is M. So yung mortgage, so kung merong merong housing loan, yung mga ganyan. So 1 million yung example dito. O, tapos education, yung last para sa dime method yung letter E. So what if may anak, hindi pa nakakapag-college, tapos inassume na amount dito ng tuition fee para at saka yung mga education related expenses is 2 million. So in total, Uh, lumalabas dito na ang total prote protection na needed niya is 5.5.9 million. Ayan, baliktad lang. <laughs> Ayan, so 5.9 million. So this is one one of the ways to compute yung life insurance protection. So ibig sabihin kailangan i-protect niya yung sarili niya ng 5.5.9 million or almost 6 million. So dapat kukuha si Juan de la Cruz ng insurance Uh, na may coverage na 5.9 million. Yan. So, pero isa lang to ah, isa lang to sa way. So, meron pang mga iba't ibang paraan. So, better if you contact uh, someone na talagang makakapag ano, guide sa iyo or from ano, from IMG Financial Educator para maturuan ka kung paano ka mag-compute ng uh, sapat na insurance coverage. Ayun. So, 'yun. Actually, basic is annual income times 10, pero Uh, Siyempre, kailangan natin consider yung utang, yung loan, tsaka yung education. Kasi uh, hindi naman pwedeng magbayaran yun. Hindi naman pwedeng masama rin yun, di ba? Sa living, yung utang, and then yung education, hindi naman pwedeng mag-stop, di ba? Sa pag-aaral, yung anak, di ba yan? So, kailangan pa rin magpatuloy siya sa pag-college na. So, yun yun yung basic, basic, ano, basic computation for, ano, for insurance coverage. So, importante yun. Hindi ka pwede basta lang meron kang insurance. Dapat alam mo kung sapat ba yung insurance coverage mo. Kasi baka mamaya kulang pala. So, you should, you should ask a financial educator to guide you para alam mo kung tama, di ba? Ayan. Or kaya kung kulang, dadagdagan mo na lang ng insurance, insurance coverage. So, dadagdagan mo lang. Ayan. So, yan, may question pa again dito. So, next question daw is, ang tanong, di ba, ang sabi ko sa computation is yung mga income producer kasi ang pinoprotect natin yung income na mawawala, di ba? So, ang tanong, yung mga housewife ba or mga stay-at-home parents daw ba is kailangan ng life insurance? Sa tingin nyo, what do you think? Sa tingin nyo ba kailangan din nila ng life insurance? So, sabi dito sa book, sabi, kasi ako rin question ka rin yan dati nung hindi ko pa to naintindihan. So, sabi dito sa book, uh, a lot of people think that insurance is for breadwinners only. So, let's say you are a full-time housewife. Do you need life insurance too? <coughs> ba diba? Sabi, for breadwinners, eh, hindi ka naman nagtatrabaho, nasa bahay ka lang. So, do you think kailangan mo rin ng life insurance? So, sabi dito, the simple answer is yes. Yun. So, bakit? ba diba, bakit? Yes. Kasi hindi ka naman, wala namang income na mawawala. 
malaki yung mawawala. Bakit? Kasi yung stay-at-home parents, uh, like you should have protection to replace their valuable services to the family. Kasi sila yung nagpiplay ng mga roles like sila yung driver, sila yung nagluluto, sila yung naglilinis, sila yung nagtuturo sa mga anak, sila yung nag a as accountant, diba? So, yung services na, na ginagawa niya for family, kapag nawala yung gumagawa ng services na yon, so, these services can cost a lot if you were to hire other people to do to do them, yung mga ano, to do that, those services. So, kapag na, pag, uh, may nangyari din pala sa ano, stay, to, stay at home parents or housewife, full housewife, full time housewife, ba? Diba? So, may mawawala din palang ano yun, na ano, na cost pala, which is yung mga services na ginagawa niya. Kasi, mag ka ng, mag ka ng kapalit na siya yung gumagawa nun. So, another cost yun, ba? Diba? Yeah. So, the monetary value daw of services of stay at home parents is as high as if they had a full-time job. So, same lang din ng computation natin kanina. As an, as an employee in a company. So, yun. So, ibig sabihin, yes, ba? Diba? So, kailangan din nila. Ito, sa pang-question, do single people daw need life insurance? So, sa tingin nyo, kailangan ng isang single person, single, single na, ba? Diba? Person. Single people, nangangailangan ba sila ng, kailangan ba nila i-insure yung sarili nila? So, absolutely yes pa rin. Kasi baka isipin nyo, eh, wala naman silang may iwan na own family or wala naman silang, uh, wala naman silang pinoprovide na, na sariling pamilya. Pero, single people buy life insurance for different reasons. So, dito, in-enumerate yung mga different reasons kung bakit kailangan pa rin nila ng life insurance. So, pwede kasing uh, meron silang loved ones na to take care of, meron silang pinoprovide na 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 ano na family like parents or siblings na, na umaasa din sa kanila or they may have plans to start a family soon and want to buy when the cost is lower so may plano na mag magkaroon ng ng family pero gusto nilang kumuha ng life insurance na ang cost pa is mas mura pa kasi di ba mas bata mas mura yung cost ng life insurance or while they are still healthy and insurable so isipin niyo yon kasi kapag maaga ba, bata kayo na kumuha ng life insurance mas ma, mas mataas yung opportunity wow mataas yung opportunity na ano mataas yung opportunity na mas madali kang ma, ma-insure yung ano mo ma-renew pala ma-renew yung ano mo yung insurance mo kaya better talaga as long as uh, young ka pa kuha ka na so and then dito isa pang reasons or tatlo pang reasons na nandito nakalagay Ah, uh, pwede kasi meron silang business partnership and want to protect the business. So isa 'yon. Or kaya they want to take advantage of the tax benefits of saving in the policy and have coverage at the same time. And yung last, they want to leave a legacy to the cause they are passionate about. Or baka meron sila mga charity institution, charitable institution na tinutulungan na what if may mangyari. So pwedeng dun mapunta yung ano, yung insurance coverage. So yun yung mga pwedeng dahilan kung bakit kailangan pa rin ng mga single people ng life insurance. Ayan. Medyo mahaba pala to. Okay, bilisan na lang natin. So, sinasabi dito na ang cost of life insurance is napakadali lang naman intindihin. So, depende lang siya sa ano. Uh, depende siya sa... Para siyang katulad lang din daw ng ano, ng pag bumili ka ng bigas o kaya bumili ka ng, ng egg dito. Kunwari dito, ang cost daw ng egg is 80 per dozen. Or ang cost ng rice is 50 pesos per 1 kilo. Ah, ganun. So, ganun din daw yung cost of insurance. So, pwedeng per 1,000 coverage, pwedeng ang cost niya is 3 pesos. Parang ganun. 3 pesos per 1,000 coverage. So, parang ganyan. So, parang sa 1 million, sample lang to ha, hindi ko sinasabi na ganito talaga yung cost ha. Kunwari, sa 1 million na coverage, uh, 4,000, parang ganun. 4,000 per 1 million coverage or 5,000 or 10,000. Basta ganun. So, per ano siya, per insurance coverage siya, yung cost niya. So, and ang cost ng insurance goes up every year. So depende rin 'yan sa type ng ng life insurance pero in simple ano talaga uh, Lehman term is ano talaga siya? Lehman's term is ano siya? 
increasing ang ano ang cost ng insurance. So as he gets older and the risk increases, the price also increases. Mamaya ako na kayo sasagutin. <laughs> Ayan. So, as he gets older and the risk increases, the price also increases. So, tumataas talaga siya. Like, kunwari, kung ano ka, kung 25, ano ka, 25 years old ka, for uh, 1,000 daw pesos na coverage, pwedeng 3 pesos lang yan. Pero kung 26 ka, for a 1,000 coverage, pwedeng naging 3.10 na. So, tumataas siya. Kasi, depende kasi yan sa, ano mo eh, sa health mo. Siyempre, the more na tumatanda tayo, the more na mas mataas yung tendency or yung risk natin na, na, di ba, mamatay. Yun. So, ganun naman talaga ang law of nature. Yun. So, pero, siyempre, may iba talaga na nawawala ng mas bata. So, yun nga. Kaya, kailangan natin insure yung sarili natin. So, the earlier you get insurance, the better and cheaper it is for you. Yun. Madali lang yun intindihin. Eto. And, sinasabi dito sa book na to na ang... ang Ayan. Ang insurance policies daw are based on the cost of insurance. So, the cost goes up every year because your risk of dying is higher as you get older. Yan yung sinabi ko kanina. And it, it is also based on your health. For example, whether you smoke, drink, or engage in extreme sports affects your rate. And if you're female, your rate is lower due to having better life expectancy than males. So, ibig sabihin, mas mababa ang rate ng mga babae. Kasi mas mabilis daw or mas mahaba ang life expectancy niya kaysa sa mga lalaki. Ayan, so Edison, mas ano ka, mahal. Ayan, so may iba't ibang klase ng, lahat ng insurance is term insurance. Iba-iba lang klase, okay? So there are three kinds of term insurance. Meron tinatawag na annual renewable term. So eto yung niririnyo siya, niririnyo siya every year. Yun, kaya nga siya tinatawag na annual, renewable term. So, coverage is for one-year term only and renewable every year. So, each year, the price also increases. So, nagtataas siya. It costs cheaper when you're young and it gets more and more expensive the older you get. Okay? So, yun yung annual renewable, renewable term. Uh, Nire-renew siya every year tapos na, uh, habang bata, mas mura, mas maliit yung cost niya. Pero habang tumat, 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 tanda or nag add ng year nagmamahal or nadadagdagan yung ano niya, yung kanyang cost yon meron din tinatawag na level term, yung tinatawag na mga 5, 10, 20 or 30 years, meron kasing mga term insurance na fix lang yung cost ng insurance for 5 years, tapos tataas siya on the 6th year, yon meron din naman uh, fix siya for 10 years, tapos kapag nag ka for another 10 years tataas siya <coughs> Yan, so, tinagalog ko lang. <laughs> the amount paid for coverage is the same or level for the term. Yun. Yun. Gets nyo? Gets nyo yung level term. So, ganun siya. However, at the, at the end of each term, the cost increases typically much more than annual renewable term. So, mas mahal kasi, uh, ano siya eh, nakaspread na siya. Kunwari, kung sampung taon, nakaspread na siya sa sampung taon. Diba? So, mas mahal siya kaysa do sa annual renewable term. So, uh, uh, kailangan maintindihan nyo to para uh, kayo yung magde-decide kung anong type ng term insurance yung bibilhin nyo. Yun. Okay? Yan. Tapos, meron din tayong tinatawag na last is yung decreasing term na tinatawag. So, yung decreasing term, normally daw, sold as mortgage life insurance. Hindi pa ako naka... Hindi ko pa personally pa na meron ako neto, wala akong ganito. Pero, kaya siya tinawag na decreasing term kasi usually, ang cover niya is yung loan. ba So, the premium cost will not increase during the entire life of the mortgage. Kasi nga, pa-decrease siya kasi ang ini-insure niya yung loan. So, syempre, habang tumatagal yung loan, nababayaran. So, yung loan, lumiliit. ba So, yun yung ini-insure niya kasi, yung loan. So, thus, if something happens to you, the house will be paid off for the surviving spouse. So, mortgage life insurance is still term life. However, since the balance of the loan will decrease every year, the benefit decreases accordingly. So, thus, you're buying at a decreasing term. Okay? 
Yun. So, ganun lang yung ibig sabihin niya. Yan. So, make sure talaga daw na kailangan mong tingnan yung cost. So, quite often, you can be get better rates with level term. Pwede rin magbe-benefit ka, will remain constant and not decrease during that term. Okay. So, talagang titingnan mo siya, hanap ka talaga ng ano, hanap ka ng uh, policy na na same lang din naman pala yung coverage nila, pero baka mas mura dun sa isa. ba diba? So, uh, hanap ka na mas lower ang ang premium, pero max yung coverage. Okay? So, kung same lang din naman yung coverage na, so bakit kukuha ka pa ng insurance na mas mahal? ba diba? So, yun. So, it's up to you. So, kailangan talaga pag-aralan mo kapag kukuha ka ng mga, ng mga insurance policy. Yan. Okay, ito. Uh, ito naman, sina isa dito sa tinapik is yung return of premium term. So, meron kasi daw mga policy na ibinabalik yung mga premium paid, yung binayad nila for the coverage, if the insured survives the policy term. So, kunwari, ang term niya is 20 year, kunwari, ang sample dito, 20 year return of premium term policy. So, kunwari, ang coverage dito is 500,000. So, after 20 years, kung walang nangyari dun sa tao na kumuha ng 20-year return of premium term, ibabalik sa kanya yung, yung total na nabayad niya. So, dito sa sample na to, kunwari is 1,500 per year for 500,000 coverage. So, 30,000 yung nabayad niya for, ano, for 20 years. So, ibabalik yun. So, ito, uh, yung type daw ng ganitong insurance, ano siya, mas mahal daw siya. So, this type of term insurance may cost you more and have taxable implication. So, make sure you know the cost to make a good decision. So, like yung sinasabi ko kanina, so you have to understand yung cost ng, ng life insurance. So, ang talagang ako, ang personally, ang ina-advise ko is term insurance. Pero yun, depende pa rin talaga sa you yan. Kung mamaya i-discuss ko dito bakit, bakit uh, may disadvantage din kung, kung term insurance or ano yung dapat mong gawin para para mas ma-maximize mo yung ano kung yun ang uh, kukunin mo na life insurance yun. Kasi term insurance daw is a simple insurance lang. So, you pay the insurance company. So, if you die, they pay the benefit to your company. If you don't die, they don't pay. So, ganun lang. Ganun lang kasimple ang insurance. And you lose the premium money just like when you acquire a car insurance. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, let's let's uh, make our life simple. <laughs> diba, wag nating ikomplikado. So, ako term insurance lang yung meron ako. Ayan. So, isa pa sa question dito sa libro is, sabi, is your term renewable? So, kailangan mo rin yan i-consider pag kukuha ka daw ng life insurance. So, take note that some term policies are renewable and some are not. So, syempre, yung mga renewable policy, yun yung mas nagre-require ng ano, ah, uh, Ah, ito, ito pala. With renewable policies, it, it's guaranteed that you can renew the term of your policy for the rest of your life regardless of your health condition. So, yung renewable policy, pwede mo siyang i-renew every year uh, regardless daw ng health condition mo. Pero, panigurado ko, mas mahal yung, ano nun, nung, yung premium rate nun. Pero sa with non-renewable term daw, you may not be able to renew your policy unless you are in good health. Of course, non-renewable is usually cheaper than renewable term. So, di ba? Meron din siyang consequence talaga. Ito pa, another question. Is your term convertible? Usually, yung convertible insurance policy, ito yung mga, yung mga ano, yung mga group term life. Yung mga binibigay sa mga empleyado. So, pwedeng uh, kapag umalis siya sa company, pwede niyang i-convert yon as personal niya na, ano, na life insurance. Pero usually, kapag hindi talaga naturuan yung isang tao yung importance and purpose ng life insurance, so hindi niya yun, wala, papabayaan niya lang yon. So, pwedeng hindi niya lang din naman matuloy. Diba? Yun. So, yun yung tinatawag na kung convertible ba daw yung, ano, yung life insurance. Meron pang isang, aside sa, ano, sa term insurance, meron pang isang kind ng life insurance, yung tinatawag na whole life insurance. So, ano ba yung whole life insurance? So, ito yung hanggang 99 kang, 99 years old kang magbabayad. Uh, tapos, ang rate niya is same lang. Kunwari, kumuha ka ng, kunwari ang edad mo ngayon is uh, 40 years old or, sige, 30 years old. So, insured ka hanggang 99. 
Diba? So, hanggang ganun din ka din magbabayad hanggang 99 ka din. Tapos, uh, same lang yung rate. Kung titingnan mo dyan, ma- parang ano siya, kung titingnan mo, same lang yung rate, pero in-spread niya na the whole period. Diba? So, the whole period. So, dito, makikita mo siya na yung whole life daw is typically not very flexible. The premium is fixed, the interest guaranteed. Kasi kaya siya, kaya siya fixed kasi meron siyang cash value. Kasi, ah, uh, kapag ano kapag uh, inistop niya yung ano yung pag pagbayad merong parang corresponding cash value na matatanggap yung ano <coughs> yung policy holder so kasi kaya siya kaya siya fix lang kasi yung yung binayad niya nung first part dahil fix siya di ba fix yung ano niya yung rate niya yung binayad niya nung mga first few years medyo malaki yon instead na dapat mas maliit so yun yung parang interest no yung kinikita no ng mga first few years is Uh, yun yung parang magiging pambayad sa mga pang uh, latter na years. So, before 99. Yun. So, the premium is fixed, the interest guaranteed, and the debt benefit fixed. So, since insurance companies have to guarantee the interest for whole life, they tend to give a conservative rate. So, medyo maliit lang yung, ano, yung interest nito. As a result, the cash build up can be very slow. So, it should be noted that these types of policies may have surrender charges. So, pwedeng bawasan pa yung mga cash value na yun kapag kinansel mo siya. Ayun. So, yan. So, ang tanong, ang tanong ngayon is, ano yung bibilin mo? Ano yung type ng insurance ang kukunin mo? So, depende talaga sa'yo yan. So, should you buy term and invest the difference. Ako, what I advise talaga is buy term insurance and invest the difference. Pero, yun nga, however daw, merong mga condition na kailangan mong mamit para magawa mo to. ba? Diba? So, para, para uh, ma-achieve mo pa rin yung goal mo in the end na makapag-invest ka for your future. ba? Diba? Yan. So, ibig sabihin ng buy term insurance and invest the difference, Bakit term insurance? Kasi cheaper siya. ba diba? Cheaper. Kasi simple lang siya na insurance. Uh, bibili ka lang ng life insurance, tapos uh, bibili ka lang ng term insurance, Correspo- may corresponding coverage siya, tapos kapag na- may nangyari sa'yo, bibigyan ka ng, bibigyan, ng ka- bibigyan ng insurance company yung family mo na may iwan dun sa kung magkano man yung coverage mo. So, magbigay tayo ng, ano, ng sample na amount. Kunwari, ako, Diba? 3,000 ang 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 di, wag na yon kasi masyadong mababa kung titingnan niyo eh. Exclusive kasi yun sa IMG members eh. So let's say ah uh, ang insurance coverage is ay dito sa sample na to 2,000 nga eh. 2,000 kaya ito susundin ko na lang nandito sa libro. So 2,000 term insurance. Ayun, 2,000 term insurance. Ayun, kunare ano ang coverage nito is ano ah uh, 500,000. Yan, compared with compared with 10,000 a year na whole life. 'Di ba? So, medyo malaki yung difference niya, yung 8,000. So, what uh, what we advise dito sa book na to, pero depende pa rin sa yung nga kung ikaw yung magde-decide is buy term insurance and invest the difference. Yung 8,000 kasi pwede mo siyang i-invest separately sa ano, sa mutual fund, 'di ba? Tapos yung 2,000 kuha ka ng insurance. So, ganun yung logic niya. Kasi kapag sineparate mo na i-invest yung, yung money mo, so, mas transparent, mas makikita mo yung growth ng money mo, unlike dun sa nakasama siya sa whole life na medyo maliit yung ano niya, conservative yung, yung rate niya. Kasi nga, ini, kailangan, uh, kailangan din kasi i-insure, sa whole life kasi kailangan i-insure yung, yung latter years pa before mag-99. ba Yun. So, dito, in order daw to meet for this jury to work, two conditions must be met. Kung susundin mo yung buy term and invest the difference. Nagigets nyo ba? Hindi ba kayo naguguluhan? So, eto siya. Dalawa. So, you must have the discipline and consistency to invest the difference. Kasi nga, dahil ikaw ang mag invest separately, kunwari kung 10,000 yung kaya mong, kaya mong i-invest every year, yung 2,000, kuha ka ng life insurance, yung 8,000 i-invest mo separately sa, pwede sa mutual fund. So, Kung ikaw kasi yung gagawa nun, dapat may discipline ka sa sarili mo talaga na may invest mo siya consistently. Kasi baka mamaya kapag hindi mo siya ginawa, sabi dito, if not, you may end up buying term but spending the difference. 
So, baka mo may spend mo lang 8,000 instead na invest mo siya. So, with uncertainty about the economy and the ever-changing job market, so consistency can be a challenge. ba? Diba? Lalong-lalo na kung wala kang disiplina. Yon. Pangalawa, syempre, you must know how to invest the difference. So, dapat alam mo rin kung saan i-invest yung 8,000 na yun. Kung, kung ngayon, hindi mo alam siya, so isip-isip ka, baka mamaya eh, Uh, sa maling facility mo siya mailagay. So, other investment may be able to give better rates or return, but they may also sink your nest egg. So, baka pwedeng mamali ka ng paglalagyan. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano, kung talagang gusto mong gawin yung buy term and invest the difference, uh, dapat din mag-invest ka sa financial literacy para naintindihan mo kung tama ba yung paglalagyan mo na investment facility. Yun. So, consider all options to find a suitable solution for your financial need. So, based dun sa mga sinabi ko kanina, so, talagang kailangan mong, ano, kailangan mong tingnan kung ano yung suitable para sa'yo. Yun. So, suitable and affordable yung kaya mo. Diba? Yan. So, at the end of the day daw, when you have to make a decision in choosing which insurance product to buy, you should buy what you need and what you can afford. Diba? So, kung ano yung kaya mo. So, is the product suitable and affordable for me? Yun yung tanong mo sa sarili mo. So, first daw, you must find out what you need. So, kung ano yung kailangan mo. Diba? So, kailangan mo i-calculate kung how much yung protection, insurance coverage, amount na kakailanganin mo. Then, i-assess mo yung financial situation mo kung kaya mo bang uh, bilhin yung yung coverage na ganun. So, kunwari, 1 million. Kaya mo bang bumili ng 1 million na coverage? So, kailangan mo i-manage yung budget mo and cut down mga unnecessary expenses kung kinakailangan. So, then you make a better decision based on doon. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan mo munang unahin na alamin kung magkano yung insurance coverage na dapat mong kunin. Tapos, check mo kung kung yung premium non is kaya mo. ba diba? So, for that, ano, for that coverage. Yan. So, if you have a high responsibility daw in your family but not much money, so, punta tayo doon. So, kung after mo siyang i-budget tapos hindi pala kaya ng, ano mo, ng, ng, ng budget mo yung, uh, yung whole life or other diba, na gusto mo, term insurance may be a better choice for you kasi cheaper talaga ang term insurance. So, if you have enough money naman to cover for your needs and savings, then you may want to look at other options. So, this can include cash build up that fits your savings and investment goals. So, pwedeng yung may kasamang cash value. So, remember, buying life insurance is a privilege. So, ito yung sinabi ko kanina sa introduction, di ba? And not a right. So, you buy it when the insurance company gives you this privilege. But there will come a time that even if you want to buy it, kahit gusto mong bumili at meron kang money na pangbili, you might not have the privilege anymore to buy. So, exercise your privilege when you can. So, habang uh, healthy pa, habang ano pa, habang insurable pa, may as well kunin mo na siya. ba? Diba? Or bumili ka na. Ayan. So, there are three rules of life insurance. Ayan, ang haba pala nito. So, there is no free insurance. So, kung may mga nag-offer sa inyo ng free insurance, so, there is no such thing as free insurance. May kapalit yun. So, pangalawa, the cost of insurance always increases with age. So, yun. Kaila, tumataas talaga siya. Pangatlo, all insurance are term insurance. So, lahat yan term insurance eh, which can be bundled with a certain cash value. So, yung iba nga lang, meron siyang cash value na kasama. So, pero lahat siya term insurance. And sa last dito, parang binanggit lang yung mga different type ng ano ng insurance. So, may mga iba't ibang types daw ng life insurance. So, siguro mabilis na lang to. Meron tayong tinatawag na accidental death insurance. Accidental death insurance, ito para siyang pwede siyang stand-alone na insurance or pwede rin siyang uh, rider ng isang life insurance. So, usually kapag rider siya, kunwari if, if someone die daw from regular illness, so kung 1 million yung coverage niya, so 1 million yung matatanggap ng family. Pero if yung death daw is caused by an accident, they will pay pwedeng additional 1 million, so double. So, yun yung type ng accidental death insurance. Okay? Yun siya. Yung tinatawag naman, pangalawa, other life insurance is joint life insurance. So, ito usually daw, it covers two people. Typically daw, a married couple. 
So, meron siyang pinakita dito na types ng joint policy. <coughs> yung una daw, yung first to die and second to die. <laughs> Ayan, morbid yung pinag-uusapan natin, di ba? So, ang second to die policy daw, ibig sabihin, babayaran lang daw ng insurance company yung benefits sa family kung yung dalaw kung kung after daw mamatay no last surviving spouse okay yun siya second to die so ibig sabihin both sila <laughs> ayan yung first to die policy naman so ito babayaran daw ng insurance company yung uh, beneficiary when the person when the first person passes away so hindi kailangan dalawa Yun. So, a common purpose of this type of insurance daw is to protect a business daw. So, usually daw ang purpose nito is to protect a business and most often it is for estate planning because the benefit is used to minimize or eliminate the burden of estate tax. Kasi isa to eh, isa to sa mag- nagiging problema ng, ano, ng surviving spouse kasi uh, how to uh, pay yung mga estate tax lalong lalo na kung may mga property. So, it, kinocover siya ng ng eto, yung joint life insurance. <coughs> Isang type pa na tinatawag is yung key person insurance. Usually, itong type ng insurance na to is sa, sa mga ano, sa company. Okay. So, on the key person in a business. So, normally, it applies to the owner or key employee, people who are very important to the business. So, usually, ito yung mga may matataas na position. So, if something where to happen to them, the company or business may not survive. So, pwede kasing uh, hindi makasurvive yung business kasi nawala yung key person. Uh, ang beneficiary nito, usually, syempre, yung company kasi siya yung bumili ng life insurance for that key persons. So, yun. And, last, last type, other type of life insurance, yung living benefits of life insurance. Type ba to? Hindi, hindi naman to type. Parang isa lang siya sa topic. Living benefits of life insurance. So, the main purpose, hindi, type siya. <laughs> Kasi sabi dito, the main purpose of life insurance is to protect your loved ones, business or estate if you die. However, in many cases, the insured may have other great needs at critical times while still living. So, ito yung type ng insurance na na kahit buhay pa yung ano, kahit buhay pa yung insured, meron nang matatanggap yung family. Uh, kasi ang usually ang nagiging cost ng ano ng ng uh, ng uh, hindi pa siya hindi pa siya ano eh, hindi pa siya patay pero usually kung dun siya papunta is yung mga critical illness. So syempre uh, during those times na na meron ng ano, meron ng term ano, parang Yun, meron ng ter- terminal illness with diagnosis of less than 12 months to live. So, syempre, may mga expenses na yan yung family. So, etong type ng life insurance na to is pwedeng parang 50% non dito sa sample, pwedeng, pwedeng ibigay na siya parang pang sagot sa mga ano, sa mga uh, tawag dito, yun sa, sa kostong sa hospital, di ba? At least, ano na, makikinabang na sila dun or magagamit na nila pang bayad man lang dun sa hospital. Yan. So, yun yung ibig sabihin dito sa living benefits of life insurance. So, in cases daw of serious illness such as heart disease, stroke, cancer, paralysis, and terminal illness with diagnosis of less than 12 months to live, the accelerated payments will be very helpful for the insurance and family. So, thus, life insurance is beneficial not just for its death benefit. With living benefits, insurance can also provide the needed money at critical time. So, depende to dun sa, ano, sa term and uh, condition ng policy kung ano siya, unti-unti na ibibigay until such time na. Yun na, mawala na. Or, pwedeng 50%, so ganun. So, depende talaga sa, ano, sa type ng ano, nung life insurance. So, many term life policies have this benefit. It can also be purchased as a rider in permanent life policy. So, pwede siyang uh, rider or add-on din na benefit. So, eto, 
Itong rider and rider benefits, meron siya mga specific limitation daw and cost. So, de, talagang kailangan mo ding maintindihan kung yung kukunin mo nga siya, kung ano yung kukunin mo na life insurance. So, depende. Depende siya sa need mo. So, make sure na talagang masasagot yung need mo. Ayan. So, actually, tapos na tayo. So, yun yung laman nung chapter 3. So, to summarize lang, pinakita dito yung importance ng life insurance, pinakita dito yung yung mga cost ng life insurance tapos yung mga question about life insurance kung sino yung mga insure at hindi uh, tapos pinakita din dito yung different type ng life insurance dalawa term insurance saka whole life at yung different kind ng term insurance which is annual renewable term level term or decreasing term at diniscuss din dito yung ano other other types of life insurance ayan Naintindihan nyo ba? <laughs> Naintindihan nyo ba yung review ko sa chapter 3? So, meron ba kayong question dito? So, kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng copy ng libro na to, uh, yun, i-ask nyo yung, some, yung uh, person na nag-share sa inyo ng video na to. O kung wala, napanood nyo lang siya sa, la, sa FB or sa YouTube. So, message nyo lang ako. Meron naman akong link dyan kung saan nyo ako i-message or mag-comment lang kayo sa baba kung paano. And kung gusto nyo mas maintindihan pa more bago ko to matapos, kasi chapter 3 pa lang tayo hanggang chapter 10 to. Kung gusto nyo na mas maintindihan pa ng husto, paano kayo makakapagsimula uh, kung ready na kayo na mag, uh, mag-save, mag-ready na kayo na mag-build ng financial foundation no pero hindi nyo lang alam kung paano kayo magsisimula. So, pwede nyo i-click yung aking uh, free, one hour free training video para malaman nyo kung paano kayo makakapagsimula at baka makuha nyo pa ito ng free. Diba? So, uh, panoorin nyo yon So, ilagay nyo lang yung active email address nyo kasi doon papadala yung, ano, yung mga succeeding emails na makakatulong sa inyo para to decide kung, kay, kung, pa, kung kailang kayo magiging ano, become your own financial educator at paano nyo yun gagawin or sisimulan. Okay? So, mukhang walang question nakatulog ba kayo? <laughs> kasi hapon, diba? So, nakakaantok tong oras na to. Ayan. So, kung wala na kayong question, Ayan, so, end na natin tong ano, end na natin tong uh, epilive, so live broadcast. Comment naman kayo dyan, marami ba kayong natutunan? Mar marami ba kayong natutunan ngayon, this afternoon? Ayan, or late nyo na tong napapanood. Okay, ayan, so kung wala na kayong tanong, ulitin ko, so kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng... Uh, one hour free training video so click nyo lang yung link na nakalagay dyan sa, sa video or kung sa YouTube nyo to napapanood, meron din dyan or kung hindi nyo makita, comment lang kayo or click nyo yung ano, yung aking uh, kung sa nyo, kayo, sa nyo ako may message, meron din akong link dyan okay, so uh, till, uh, see you again on ano, on Thursday yung review naman ng chapter 4, okay, so ano nga ba yung chapter 4? Ayan. Paano nyo imamanage yung mga utang nyo? Ayan. Managing debts effectively. Ayan. So, yun yung topic natin. So, see you on Thursday, 4 p.m. Manila time. Okay? Bye-bye. Salamat sa, ano, sa pakikinig. Bye.